What if NYC had an airport 70 meters above Manhattan? Sound stupid? Well, in the 1940s, this was actually planned to be constructed. On this episode of Built a Billion, we'll look at the weirdest mega project proposals that were never built. Some ideas were just too ridiculous to take serious, while others were restricted for political and economic reasons. If you like this content, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like so that we can continue to tell you about the world's mega projects one billion at a time. Number six, Dream Airport above New York. Everyone has seen the iconic New York skyline, whether it was in movies or in real life, but it almost looked really different due to a crazy plan in the 1940s that would have given Midtown Manhattan a complete makeover. In 1947, real estate developer William Zeckendorf proposed the idea for a rooftop airport along the Hudson River above Midtown Manhattan. It would be called the Dream Airport and span 44 Manhattan blocks. It was supposed to have a 70 meter high deck and be the size of Central Park. A set of 10 story buildings would be built under the deck for small businesses, ticket offices and waiting areas. But the structure wouldn't just be an airport. It would also have railways and roads beneath the platform and piers for ships on the Hudson River. At $3 billion, it would have been the biggest airport project ever at the time. New York already had major congestion traffic by the 40s and all of the airports were outside of Manhattan. A midtown airport would have gotten rid of the need for driving to LaGuardia, JFK or Newark. If built, the surrounding area would have looked a lot different. For instance, the skyscrapers in the area like the Hudson Yards wouldn't have been built. An airport in the middle of the world's busiest city would have been hell on earth for the residents. The city would have had to deal with airplane noise literally every minute of the day and caused an influx of even more traffic coming into the city. Clearing out space on a 144 block span and constructing something new would also be extremely complicated, which kept the dream airport just that, a dream. Number five, most iconic hotel in the world. 20th century New York is back at it again, folks. In 1908, the Singer Building became the first skyscraper to cross the height of 150 meters being followed by the Chrysler Building and the Empire State Building. But there were two businessmen that had taken a liking to the work of Barcelona architect Antony Gaudi's work, which featured curved shapes and attention to detail. They convinced him to bring his talents to New York, and he obliged, conceiving a 360 meter grand hotel. The exterior would feature alabaster, tiles, and glass, while the interior would have restaurants, theaters, concert halls, and an exhibition hall at the height of 100 meters. At that time, a building that tall was just overwhelming, but Gaudi was just the man for the job. In the end though, the plans were never finalized, mostly because the Spanish architect dedicated the following years to Barcelona's Sagrada Familia, and this project took a total of 43 years until the end of his life. While Gaudi's sketches still exist, it doesn't seem like the hotel will ever be built. If it was though, it would be one of the most iconic buildings in the world. Number four, the Mile High, Illinois. Chicago is widely hailed as the birthplace of the skyscraper, and at one point could have held the title for the tallest skyscraper in the world. In 1956, architect Frank Lloyd Wright presented his idea for the Mile High skyscraper. The idea was unfathomable because at the time, the world's tallest building was the Empire State Building, which was one fourth the size of Wright's proposed building. Wright didn't like how much area the cities occupied and wanted to build something to save space and take cities upward instead of outward. Included would be 525 floors, atomic powered elevators and parking for 15,000 cars and 100 helicopters. The idea was that the skyscraper would be a city in itself and that all government offices could be held inside of it. This was all very nice and creative, but it just wasn't possible at the time. Even today, the tallest building in the world is the Burj Khalifa. That building isn't even half the height of Frank Lloyd Wright's vision. In result, nobody even gave the mile high the time of day. And all that exists are the architect's sketches and models of the building. Number three, America's tallest failed skyscraper. Chicago has another skyscraper on this list, but this one made it to construction. The Chicago Spire was to become the tallest building in the world 50 years after Frank Lloyd Wright's proposal, but this building was designed by Spanish architect Santiago Calidrava. 
He built other projects like Sweden's Turning Torso. The tower started construction in 2007 and would have had a slender curved design that would have shot 610 meters into the sky. The foundation had to be deep because of how slender the structure was, so excavation dug 22 meters into the ground to lay it. But work stopped after the foundation was laid as the project fell victim to the Great Recession of the mid-2000s. The Anglo-Irish Bank, the main investor for the project, was struggling to keep their head above water, cutting off an investment that would continue the project. In 2016, after lawsuits and bankruptcies galore, related Midwest took over the site and the Chicago City Council approved the updated design in 2020. The new design consists of two staircase-like towers with heights of 267 and 233 meters. Number 2. Hitler's Dome Along with the fall of Nazi Germany came the fall of its huge architectural projects including its new planned capital city, Germania, and its most significant building, the Great Hall. The sketches were created by Hitler himself after he was inspired by a visit to the Pantheon in Rome during the 1920s, but he planned on building something way more massive at 290 meters tall and 250 meters wide, making it the biggest building on the continent. The capacity would be 150,000 people, and by building architecture so huge, Hitler wanted to perpetuate his empire. The size of the Great Hall would be used to seduce, overwhelm, and enforce the structure's rule. Barely anything was ever built, however, except for a few shell structures. The conception of the monument was an example of the delusions of grandeur held by Nazi Germany, and it fell right along with Hitler and his empire. Number 1. Sphere Vision of Pyramids For the last mega-project, we head back to 18th century France in honor of Sir Isaac Newton, a French architect proposed a 150 meter high cenotaph that would be taller than the Great Pyramid of Giza. The cenotaph would be a memorial to Sir Isaac Newton and serve as an homage to his scientific contributions. The structure would be the world's first domed planetarium and the architect poked tiny holes in the interior of the structure that lined up with the positions of the constellations and planets. But of course, the proposal wasn't possible at the time. The architect knew this and proposed it most likely as an idea of what could be. If you like this content, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like. If you want to see mega projects that are actually being built, I've done a video on that too, and it should be on the screen. So click that video on the screen to watch something you haven't seen. These were the craziest mega projects that were never built. And once again, thanks for visiting Built a Billion.